this is a battle of the duplicate earbuds there's a lot of earbuds on amazon that are duplicates and what we want to know with this comparison are the raycon e50 the same earbud as the rl life So looking on Amazon, you're going to find a lot of earbuds that look the same, but have a different name or a different manufacturer attached to them. Are these type of earbuds duplicates? Did Raycon and the RL Life actually have the same guts inside of them? Are you better off buying the RL Life and saving 30 bucks than buying the Raycon E50? Let's get into it. So let's check out the Raycon E50 Air Drums. This is a very beautiful case. You got the Raycon logo. You have a carabiner right here clip so you can attach something and have these earbuds dangling off your bag, which I wouldn't recommend because this can easily come off even though it's magnetic. You got the nice gold strip around it, nice hard plastic. And this is micro USB. You got indicator lights. You have a power light. And look at this. These are actually charging right now. Open this up and you're greeted by the earbuds. They immediately turn on and ready to go. They're ready to connect to your device. Fantastic. If you look here, the charging case, perfectly designed for the earbud. You can see right here, they slip in with ease. These earbuds have a very beautiful design, matches the case perfectly. The gold strip around really looks good and they come in several colors, but these are the colors that caught my attention. Raycon, you very much impressed me with the look of these earbuds. The unboxing experience on the Raycons was absolutely professional and well done. The ear tips and the amount of ear tips that you get really kicks off these earbuds where you, if you want a tight fit, a loose fit, if you want to create a very tight seal, you can do it with the ear tips that's given to you in the box. Beautiful unboxing presentation. Now, when it comes to the RL Life, I was really looking at these for a while now, but I said, you know what? I got to get the Raycons because I got to see which one's better. These earbuds really got the same case, same look, same design, as the Raycons. Absolutely looking like the same earbud. Got the hook here for the carabiner clip. This is in black. This could have easily be painted in gold, but it's a piano black look. Micro USB, you got your power indication light and you have your charging indication lights right here. Same exact charging case on the RL Life. The earbuds. Now, on the unboxing experience with these earbuds is not as pristine, not as nice as the Raycons. And they give you another set of ear tips if you want to use it. But these are your standard edition ear tips and they don't give you much. But the overall design is the same as the Raycons for $30 less. These are the same earbuds overall design, the same as the Raycons for $30 less. The RL Life connect to your phone pretty good and you could use these individually, but getting these straight out the box, they was in the individual mode where I found it very hard to get the earbuds to sync to each other. But now that I got them synced to each other, they pair up to the phone with ease. Even if you use it in individual mode, they still pair up to the phone with ease. I'm very impressed with the RL Life when it comes to Bluetooth connection. Now when it comes to the Raycons, I was unable to get this to work individually, but working together, they work like a champ. These earbuds really connect to your phone with ease. They stay connected to each other and they connect to the phone faster than the RL Life, but very good connection to the phone for the Raycons. Very impressive. Now that takes us to the call quality. Call quality on these earbuds 
is not that great at all. You come in kind of muddy. The caller is complaining that they can't hear you properly. If you're in a noisy environment, it gets even worse with these earbuds. For some reason, the earbuds, the microphones, are not really top quality microphones on these earbuds. Car quality is terrible on these earbuds. Now, when it comes to the Raycons, it's a totally different experience when it comes to call quality. The microphones on the Raycons is a higher quality than the RL Life. The Raycons have a very nice call quality where the caller is hearing you with no problem at all. The caller is still hearing your background, but you can still carry on a conversation. If you get in a quiet environment, the conversation gets even easier and better to hold a conversation with these earbuds. So are these earbuds better when it comes to call quality? Definitely. Now this leads us into sound quality. And this is where I thought the earbuds was gonna be the same, but they're completely different. Let's get into the sound test and let's start it off with the Raycons and as they connect to the phone. Let's get straight into the sound test. These True Wireless earbuds are definitely for audio files. So now let's take a listen to the RL Life. These true wireless earbuds are packing a punch. Bass heads, pay attention to these. Now, after listening to that sound test, I think you guys can declare which one's the winner. If you're an audiophile, I think you're more interested in the Raycon E50 eardrums. If you're more of a bass head, you're probably more interested in the RL Life. If you're a volume head, both of these earbuds are packing the volume. But to me, you can tolerate the higher sound, it keeps its quality, the RL Life. Now, which earbuds overall, to me, are more polished and sound better in this sound department? Listening to the Raycons at about 70%, you hear some good quality with the highs and the mids. Practically no bass at all with these earbuds. They're trying to eke out more battery life. So they pretty much took away the bass With the RL life, you're getting forward mids a lot of mids and you're getting some bass But these earbuds are lacking highs. There's not really much highs with these earbuds There's not good separation with neither one of these true wireless earbuds but you know what? I think the better sound is absolutely coming from the RL Life. The RL Life is gonna satisfy most people because most people wanna hear some bass in their earbuds. I gotta say, the Raycons are better if you want to listen to more audio, audio book, a podcast, or ASMR video, the Raycons are better for that. Now, the overall design of both these earbuds are the same. Now, battery life. Both the earbuds charging case is going to give you two charges, not much more from that. So both eight cases are pretty much the same. Now as for the earbuds when it comes to battery life, you're getting more battery life from the Raycons, up to six hours of battery life with these Raycons, even if you make phone calls, six hours of battery life, which is very impressive. 
but they're able to eke out that battery life because they're not packing any bass. Since these earbuds are packing bass, they're only giving you four hours of battery life and that's under medium volume. So both these earbuds have their pluses and their minuses, which I think this video is gonna help people make the choice. You're getting $30 cheaper on the RL, but you're getting a better presentation on the Raycons. I'm having a hard decision here, making a choice between which one I recommend. With the Raycons, as soon as you open up the case, the earbuds are connecting to your phone. With the RL Life, you have to turn on each earbud to get them to connect to your phone. So this is why these connect quicker to your phone. The ease of use is a little bit better on the Raycon. Better Bluetooth connection, better call quality, better in battery life. But the sound is not that great when you want to listen to music because you're lacking bass. Now, are you getting a good sound from the mids and the highs? Yes. You're getting bass from the RL, but you're not getting highs. So in this comparison, by a hair, I would have to recommend the Raycon E50 eardrums wins in this comparison because they're doing everything right, just minus bass.